Здравствуйте, товарищи, and welcome back to another episode of our glorious Workers and Resources Soviet Republic Let's Play. Honestly, one of my favorite things to do lately is to just sit down and take the hour to immerse myself in this game. It's just so special. And you know what else is special? A new video I released earlier this week. And if this sounds shilly and like one of those, you know, advertisey sponsored video segments, that's entirely intentional because of a chat we were having on Discord recently. Um, in all seriousness, no, I, 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 I did release a new video uh, on Monday and uh, I think many of you might enjoy it. So what I'll do is I'll be linking it in the pinned comment down below. It was a lot of work. It's related to uh, history and the game Humankind that's coming out later this year. Uh, if you're interested in either of those things, you might want to check it out. It was over 90 hours of work and research and editing. Uh, so uh, just thought I'd mention it. It'll be in the pinned comment, like I said, and also under the eye at the top right corner of the screen. But that is neither here nor there. Just wanted to shill for myself a little bit, something I rarely do. I try to keep it at a minimum. Uh, but now let's turn that into some productivity over here as we focus on our glorious nation. There's lots to do, folks, uh, and, uh, and it's going pretty well, I would say. Now, I saw your comments, a lot of very good comments with regards to how we can improve the situations across the board. Now, I would say, in all honesty, we don't really have too many major problems. Um, every once in a while, we have a, you know, a train issue or something here and there, but that's, you know, par for the course. Um, we, 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 yeah, we haven't had any major issues lately. Food, clothes, everything's been working relatively smoothly. We could, however, improve um, improve that from relatively smoothly to very smoothly. And I would very much like to do that. So a lot of suggestions came in uh, in the comments, and that's always greatly appreciated. Some thoughts about our overall plans here as well. So we're going to work on all that today. And uh, there was the suggestion that we just build the, uh, the, the coal power plant here. Just spend the money, get it done, because power has been a problem for so long, and this is just taking so much time um, to, 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 to build. So it might just be wise to just go ahead and uh, and build it. Now, what I'm thinking is I don't disagree with that. Um, but what I'm probably going to do is I'm going to wait until at least all the steel and maybe all the mechanical components as well get delivered to the construction site. Um, because I think that's, on, that's the phase we're on right now, hopefully. Because if that happens... Um, then the price will drop down significantly. 208 tons of steel, right? 208 tons of steel. If we take a look at steel over here, um, look at that, 1,000. Oh my God, that's ridiculous. Yeah, we should definitely wait. And then maybe after the uh, resources have been delivered, we can auto build to make up for our lack in uh, in, in labor, basically, in, in workers. So that's, that's my thinking there. Now, folks, I just want to mention, as, as always, if you've been enjoying this series and you want to see it continue, please keep leaving those likes and comments down below. Like I've said, I enjoy reading through the comments. They're always super helpful, so I, I do read through every single comment. Uh, and on top of that, the number of likes and comments as always just helps me understand people's interest levels in uh, in the various things I've got going on on the channel. Man, I'm so excited to see this uh, get built up. All right, um, money's looking good, 5.5 million. This is the highest we've had it in you know forever in 70 episodes or whatever i think you start the game with is it 6 million or 20 million i forget but we're close to we're, we're close to double digits i mean you know double double digit millions you, you know what i mean so i'm feeling pretty good about that our unemployment is still a bit of an issue got some suggestions regarding that as well and maybe maybe we do tackle that first thing huh so again, my plan is to maybe pull 500 or so people from Vecherinkograd and uh bring them to a new land of opportunity and employment and excitement down over here. Uh, but this number has gone up relatively consistently. We're at 1,400 now. Uh, it's probably going to go up even higher if you take a look at the graph and the way it's trending. So maybe we should, in fact, go ahead and do some of the construction we were talking about previously. Um, so one of the things that I've been mulling over for a while is what goes over here. Now, some of y'all were suggesting that we should put down a stadium uh where is the stadium sports playground a stadium's big and it provides sports entertainment and i wouldn't mind putting the stadium down over here it's a cool spot for a stadium uh you know right by the river and whatnot however i'm also wondering if the stadium is something that belongs over here i mean we can have two state we're gonna have multiple stadiums I love football. I'm, I'm going to represent it as much as possible. We're going to have more than one stadium. But uh, do I put the stadium down over here or 
the original plan way back when was that we put the TV station down over here. And the TV station is sure to employ many people. Um, it's a massive building too. I mean, it, it could be cool to have the TV station here and then the, the stadium over here. And we have people driven down with buses and stuff. That's something I could do. I wouldn't mind that. Uh, I could also put the TV station like somewhere over here. I like the idea of our media being together is why I want to put the TV station over here. So like maybe, wow, I, I, the, the game actually lags when you're trying to place this building. It's kind of hilarious. So yeah, maybe we put the uh, TV station over here and then the stadium uh, can come down over here. I could also flip you like so. Yeah, maybe we do that. Save some space and then get the stadium over here connected from here or from here. So you have the stadium on the way out of the city. Yeah, you know what? I like that. That feels legit. That feels like an actual... Uh, I mean, I know sometimes stadiums are integrated into cities, but uh, I, I can see a, a massive con construction like that having outside of this, happening outside of the city, sorry, and then the city growing around it afterwards. I, I think that makes sense. So let's go ahead and just reclaim some land. I don't mind reclaiming little bits of land. I never want to do too much of it, but little bits are, is okay, I think. Uh, let's go ahead and do that. This gets us enough room to put down the TV station. And this is a good call, uh, because most of our unemployment... Uh, actually, I wonder if... No. I, I wish... Oh, we don't have enough people here to do accounting. Um, I, I wish you could see overlays for, like, unemployment and stuff, and I'm pretty sure you can't. Pretty sure you can't. Okay, well, most of our unemployment is down over here. And actually, sorry, before I forget, because I just noticed it again. This was bothering many of you. Oh, this construction. Honestly, our trains have been working fine without these pieces. I'm wondering if I should just cancel them. If I suspend them, you still see the uh, icons, don't you? Yeah, you do. Oh, man. I, I said I was going to just complete these so that those of us that get annoyed by these little icons don't have to worry about them anymore but I almost I don't want to break what we have right now because it's working so smoothly but I also don't want to get rid of this because eventually I might need these tracks um you know if this ever gets busier and apart from that one other thing that was mentioned is that on the topic of shipping gravel down there um I don't think yeah ships can't carry aggregate um, so I, I cannot ship gravel down there using a ship, ironically. I have to do it using a train. Sorry, I, I just thought I got distracted there with the dock conversation. Might as well just get that over with. So yeah, if, if we're going to bring gravel down there, it has to be using a train, uh, and using this bridge, which is almost done. Oh, the bridge is done. We might be in business here, folks, bringing gravel down. Um, another thing to maybe trackle, uh, trackle, <laughs> to tackle today. Words. I'm failing them. Yeah, we've got already like 180 people over here. Oh my god, 300 plus, 400 plus. Oh my god, this is bad. This is real bad. 500. Okay, so this is definitely where employment is an issue. Hmm. Can a footpath be brought down here? It can. Can this footpath be brought down here? It can. Okay. I just want to make sure that all of these people can potentially get to work down over here. Yeah. Yeah, that should that should make a big difference. Okay, cool. Let, yeah, let, let's let's start with that right away. Wow, I didn't realize just how concentrated the issue was. This will this will help us a fair bit, and who knows what else it'll help us accomplish. I do want to build it myself though, uh, which is fine I think because uh oh uh, because the construction site itself will act as a work site for the next little bit. So, you know, unemployment will drop as people are doing construction. And I think that's part of the reason why unemployment suddenly skyrocketed. Um, I think it's because we, um, we had a lot of construction going on, which has now since stopped. Stop lagging game, come on. Need flat terrain. I'm trying to get it to line up perfectly, but it just doesn't seem to want to. That looks better. Okay. Need flat terrain. Where are you causing issues? Up top there. Okay, if we go a little bit further down. Can't build due to infrastructure. A little bit further over. Oh, I thought we saw a spot there. Come on now. Come on now. Come on now. The lag is not helping this conversation right now. 
and build on water. All right, let's let me claim a little bit more. There we go. There's something so satisfying about how that like shape changes. <laughs> All right, TV station. Surely we can need flat terrain. All right, we're getting there. We're getting there. There we go. That was a misclick. It's not the end of the world. Can't build it infrastructure. That's fine. There we go. Again, it's like not lined up anymore. Ah, it's like between angles. This is going to kill me. Well, that's, I guess that's the closest I can get. Need flat terrain. Oh, come on, game. Alright. Go ahead and do this. It looks flat. I guess it's not. It's like just barely not flat enough. Or, you know what, I guess I am looking at it head, like, straight down, so that's definitely affecting the visuals. Okay, there we go. How about now? Oh, looking good. Almost. Jeez. This is painful. The top corner now is the issue. Now it's infrastructure. Can I go higher? A little bit. Let's go ahead and flatten this terrain, and then we'll push higher. Look at the lag. That's hilarious. That's hilarious. This is a, this is a beefy computer, too. This is not, uh... Like... <laughs> this is not normal. Yeah, this will be good. I apologize, also. It seems like I'm losing my voice. I thought I had, uh... thought I had my voice back properly, but... I think I lost it again yesterday. Which is a little unfortunate. I hope it doesn't sound too terrible. Um, now the road here is going to be a problem, I think. Go ahead and pop you down over here. I I, I don't think I want to get too close because then it'll be too steep. At least if we move over a little bit, we'll have some leeway. So if I drop you down there, we're not auto building. If I do that, can I? Too steep of an incline. Too steep of an incline. Okay. Yeah, this is not gonna. Yeah. That issue is, like, one segment long. Alright, fair enough, fair enough. Uh, oh, I should probably unpause. Uh, let's go ahead and do that. Let's go ahead and unpause and let uh, time continue. 5.5 mil money is looking good this month so far. We are, we've turned a profit. Last month we made a lot of money. This year as a whole, over a million. Last year, just under a million. So progress is being made. Progress is being made. Um, Alright, play. Where is my... Equipment. Yeah, I realized I should just allow some of the construction and stuff to keep going. And of course, night's going to fall. Too steep of a descent. Well, let me... Come on, game. You know what I want. You know exactly what I want. Too steep of an incline still. Hmm. Do... There we go. There we go. Sometimes it's all it takes. So, let's go ahead and cancel that road. To make room for the game to automatically put it down potentially yes almost infrastructure up top can we get a little bit closer here nah right. down over here then that should be fine just gonna get a top down view over here should do the trick so let's see, if we pop you down over, I just want to get as high as possible. And try to get this as straight as possible, there we go. Pop you down there. Too steep of an incline, are you kidding me again? We fixed you. Hmm. One more time. One more time. Let's do this. Alright, there's a connection there. It's getting pushed further and further back, but that's okay, because it's the footpath connection that matters most, I think. Here. Oh, this lag is just murder. And we'll do the infrastructure. I'm aware. Okay, can we... Just one step? Oh, come on. Need flat train at the bottom, I just do that. Oh. What about okay. Flat train at the bottom there. Okay, fair enough. Go ahead and do this. 
That'll do the trick. Come on now, game. Work with me here. Work with me here. A little bit more flattening down over here. Not a problem. Not a problem. We got this. We got this. Can't believe it's taking so long just to put this one building down. Just one last square. And watch, once I actually flatten it all, it'll, um... It'll be like, oh yeah, infrastructure's in the way. Alright, we got this. Perseverance is the key to success. This lag is the key to my rage. What if I go down to there? I don't think it'll attach. Oh, okay. Maybe this will work. And I'll take it if it does. I, 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 I don't care about that road not being perfectly straight. I just want this. I just want this to work. Slowly as it might. <laughs> Taking forever to flatten this train. That's a whole real world day of terraforming. You know, that's not too far off as far as um, actual... Like, we're terraforming a huge plot of land here. Probably take, you know, a month in the real world. Oh, there we go. There we go. Almost. I love that it speeds up close to the end. Okay, now, can I? Yes, excellent. Can I? Oh. Okay. Can I also straighten? Okay. Only ask so much of this game sometimes. There we go. Alright. There we go. This, I can accept, I think. Yeah, okay. This is it. This is it. Done. Done. Over. And out. Thank you. So, now, you obviously cannot reach down there, but if we put the sidewalk down, and I just want to do mud one first so we can see that it connects. Hmm. And we'll pull you down over here. Um, actually, let's do... Trying to make this a little bit nicer. Get a connection out from over here, right? Then you can connect over here, and you should be able to pull down this way connect you like this. Now, yes, you're able to get there. But nobody else is. But nobody else is. Uh, which is not the end of the world. Not the end of the world. And the reason why it's not the end of the world, well, actually, I mean, what I could try and do, it might work, is I could try to connect this up. There we go. It's another person able to reach. And I could try and hook you up, though I don't think that'll be able to reach. It's a long way to go. Yeah, okay, didn't think so. Alright, fair enough. So, I can cancel this one, even though a lot of people seem to be using it. Be gone! Alright. Go ahead and auto-build this. That, and that, and this. As well as this, and this, and this, and this. Alright. I'm wondering if I want to just pay for the road construction over here. Might as well. Let's do it. Let's do it. This road has been non-upgraded for so long. There we go. And this will help speed up construction. Very marginally, but, you know, it'll help. Alright. All the construction offices have been assigned. Uh, and hopefully they'll be making their way over to get this bad boy done. I'm going to have access to TV as well as radio. And these guys, what I'm going to do is I'm probably going to get... Like, here? Let's stop going to Betcher and Kograd East. Let's go to that construction site and the TV station. Um, so let's go ahead and do that kind of a split. So these guys will focus down here. These guys, I can probably do like a split. Building is too distant. I thought we just, I thought we just saw a connection. I thought we, thought we connected you. Didn't we literally just connect these guys? With the dirt path. Alright, it's fine. It's not the end of the world. I was ready for this inevitability. Um, but about 200 people working there should be enough, I think. If the radio takes 150, I imagine the TV station is going to be around the same. So that should be enough. If it's not, obviously we can get people from this bus stop down here as well. There's options 
there's options. Uh, so people are coming here to work without any resources. That's fine. Over here, it was suggested that I should perhaps purchase more ambulances, and I do not disagree. Um, R2203, which is this one. One passenger is, I assume, the max. Um, 90 kilometers per hour is the going speed. Yes, engine power could be a little bit higher. There are some newer options. No, actually. Oh, yeah, this is a newer option. Why would I? Yeah, let's just go with this. Got a couple more of these. Um, it was mentioned that they're like always busy, so to speak. I don't know if they are always busy, but it was also mentioned that they should be kept at a maximum of five ambulances per um, per hospital. I'm gonna try and keep that in mind as well. Oh, there's a new kindergarten. There's our other hospital. Oh, you know what? Here. We could probably swap these out. This guy's working. This guy's working. Wow, okay, these ones are always busy. You're not working. Go ahead and get rid of you. Swap you out. Upgrading our fleets. Yeah, it's a pretty good feeling. But that's good, okay, that's good. And again, hopefully unemployment now will drop now that we've got a construction site and stuff. We'll see, we'll see how that works out. And hopefully this will also reduce the number of people that are being brought over here and then brought back. Oh, I see what's going on. I see what's going on. We have a bit of a jam. That's why unemployment's gone even higher than usual. You should be able to continue over here. How did that jam happen? It's okay. We'll deal with that later. Um, but on the topic of trains, do I want to start pulling gravel down here? This construction is mostly done. All that's left is this last little section over here. Um, which uh, isn't really necessary right now. What will we bring? We don't need food in either spot. Well, we don't need to bring anything down here. Eventually, we might pick up electronics down here to take it up north. Or we might just come straight down, you know, over here, pick up electronics... And go all the way back up, man. Shipping electronics back is going to be... It's going to be a process. Oh, it's wild to see the scale of this game. Every once in a while, I just get a little reminder of just how big things are. Um, it's great. Okay, so in that case, you know what? Yeah, let's go ahead and start shipping some gravel down over here. Because again, we are needlessly... Let's take a look at... Uh, a so again, a couple things were pointed out in the comments. It's, it's always helpful, and that's why it's why I make, make it a point to read them. Um, so if we look at last month, or... Sorry, this is export. I need to look at import. We'll look at this year as a whole. Sure, why not? Or let's look at last year, because last year was completed, and it's not going to move the numbers. Um, prefab panels are really starting to be a waste of money. And uh, gravel... Where are we? Gravel. Did I not do any construction last year? Fine, I guess we'll look at this year. Gravel, where are you? Sorry, am I not importing gravel? I am importing... Yeah, I'm, I'm importing gravel. Where... There it is. Wow. 91,000. <laughs> That's a joke. There, and then and when we did it last year as well. Why is this not alphabetical? It just pains me so much. Uh, 150K spent on gravel last year. That's ridiculous. That is ridiculous, especially considering we produce it. Um, so, we're going to start shipping some gravel down. Question becomes, okay, the good thing is it only has to go up to here. No other trains come up here. The bad thing is, it has to go through this junction. <laughs> That's the bad part. Uh, but we should be fine. We, we should be able to manage this. So let's go ahead and get ourselves a train. You ship meat, you ship not what I need, you don't ship what I need either. We'll eventually have a use for all of these. But for now, let's go ahead and purchase. Uh, we want an electrical locomotive. Let's go with this one. Uh, that high engine power, I think, is going to go a long way for us. Because it's got to go up to climb on top of the bridge. Both sides... Um, so I, I think that extra engine power will go a long way for us. So, VL80K, which is too bad, it's not a nice, bright, vibrant red, but fine. You are going to lead our cargo wagon of, again, gravel. How much gravel do I want to ship at a time? Well, the way to figure that out is to see what our current state is. We don't have a lot in storage. You're topped up. You are almost topped up. Hmm. Where else does gravel go? 
kind of pull it down over here. That's what you're doing. Okay, so that, that's that's all the gravel. Oh, no, there's gravel up over here as well. You're not topped up either. Okay. So what we'll do is we'll probably ship at any given time. Um, 60 tons seems like enough, if I'm honest. It'll be faster. It'll be... It'll be faster going back and forth. Do we have... Hopper that can hold not nah, just cement. Oh, they finally added a cement capable train because they didn't have that uh, when I first built my cement um, stuff. Uh, okay, let's go with just the one R for now. 60 tons of gravel. How long does 60 tons of gravel last though? That's the other consideration is like, well, how quickly are we just going to go through 60 tons? If one of these is 34, okay, you know what? Let's go to 120. Because then at least, if one of these is 40, we'll have three any given time. I think that's I think that's the way to go. That's the way to go. All right. And so what you will be doing, my good friend, is you will be starting up over here. You'll be loading trains. You'll be loading gravel. And then you will be going all the way down over here, where you will be unloading gravel. And here you will wait until you're unloaded. Yeah, that should do the trick. Let's begin. And, as I like to do, let's watch. Let's just watch our first trip. I think it's a good way to make sure things are working properly. Um, because this initial part, especially, is a very crowded area. Now, in the future, it's not going to have to go through this junction and this mess. Uh, unless I ever need to you know, bring it back to the depot. But there's also the other depot that we're building... Or at least that we will be building. Oh, that we, no, no, we already built the other depot uh, across the river, so we can always take it there instead. Um, the reason why I purchased this one here, though, is because we um, we have to make our first stop at, at the uh, construction, like the, 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 the production facilities here, so just closer. God, that's so cool. Um, oh, it's so weird looking at all those lights that hopefully now work as they should. What's the speed you're going at? You seem a little slow. I, I want to keep an eye on the speed. I, I wouldn't mind keeping the UI away, but I do want to keep an eye on the speed. Um, right, so yeah, I just want to make sure on this first go, everything is clear. Again, eventually it might cause issues, uh, but at least the first go, I want to make sure everything's moving smoothly, that there are no unforeseen circumstances, because the foreseen circumstances include trains just not working. Oh, this is so cool, man. <laughs> it's nice seeing our like rail system uh, be so active. There we go. You're finding your way. You're finding your way. Very neat. Yeah, this shouldn't be a problem. It's also nice, uh, for, in my opinion, it's a nice change of pace to just spend some time going through the city through the perspective of one of our, you know, workers or vehicles or whatever it might be. It just gives, gives me a chance to see how things actually feel because uh, we get so attached and stuck in to that top-down view that it's easy to lose perspective. In my opinion, at least. I mean, y'all let me know what you think. If you never want to see this happen again, let me know. If I spend too much time in this kind of a thing, let me know. Um, if you like it, let me know. All right, so loading up is going to take time. 120 tons of gravel will take a long time to load up. Um, but it'll also last a fair while, hopefully. So net uh, net positive, I would say. So that while this is loading, we can, we can look elsewhere. Uh, I do want to see, though, while this is loading, what happens to the rest of our gravel infrastructure. Now, quarried stone is another thing that I really shouldn't need to keep bringing. Look at all these construction vehicles heading down south. Um, every time a delivery is made, it's great, but then it's it's used up so quickly. Yeah, you have to have. I should have. What I should have done is I should have had an aggregate storage. No, because you don't have inputs in here. What about factory inputs? Nope. Yeah, they're, they're, if only there was a way, place to store stone. Anyway, whatever. It, it is what it is. It is what it is. And you're dropping it off over here. That's gravel being dropped off. Almost topped up. But it stopped now, obviously, because we were focusing on the train. Oh, you know, that was actually really fast. I looked away for like a split second. That was really fast. And then over here, what's how, how's this affecting everything else? We have enough of a surplus elsewhere 
just not at the cement plant, but the cement tank is full. So we've got surpluses in enough spots that we don't have to worry about the train coming through every once in a while. Unemployment has dropped significantly as well, again, thanks to the uh, trains being unblocked. I guess that's what was really causing issues. I hadn't noticed that they were blocked. And over here, construction continues with great gusto to the point of traffic jams. 12 workers. 69. Nice. 12. 12. 14. 135. All right. That's, this is, we should be seeing some good progress over here. So this train is done. Get our eyes on you again. Want to see how the construction progresses when all the workers arrive. It's a massive construction site. Massive construction site. We're actually able to go FPS as well. I don't really like that. I'm, uh... I'm sometimes prone to motion sickness, and I find the first-person view in this game often makes me just feel unwell. And there we go. One train after another. Very smooth. I like that. Beautiful. Why do we have these icons over here? Oh, right, because this is wooden. We'll be able to get rid of that soon, I think. We might actually be able to get rid of that now, but... Keep it on for now. I just like getting rid of those construction signs whenever possible. These workers are going to take forever to arrive. Alright. Over we go. This shouldn't be a problem. 120 tons of gravel. This is great. So let's uh, let's make note. 1982. Um, oh wow, look at that. No slowdown. Definitely focusing on that engine power was the right call, I think. Okay, this is a moment. This, this is a moment. Our first... This is our first train delivery across the bridge, isn't it? Like our first train delivery of, uh, of raw materials. Look at this low view as well. I really like this camera angle. Wasn't expecting to get uh, a nice view like this. Alright, but... Uh, yeah, enough about that. Let's go ahead and see how quickly we drain the uh, materials. This should be pretty smooth going as well. We didn't actually conflict with any of the other vehicles that use this track section, so that's good. And yeah, you're going to get over here, you're going to unload, and uh, all will be well, question mark. So you get all the way to the end there. Now. Okay, unloading is happening. Where are you unloading to? Oh, crap. Got to build you. Kind of a crucial element there. Thank god I checked uh, the wait until I'm loaded. Wow, look at how quickly that goes. Look at how quickly that goes. Excellent. Excellent. And now as we need gravel... Oh, well, that's quick. It's empty already. Okay, so now let's see. You're stuck over there because you're waiting for this train, right? And this train... And I don't, I don't mind that. It's not a problem. We don't, we're not in a rush in this section. This train is going to go through smoothly. No problem. And then you're going to get freed up. Good. Now, actually, the only problem I do see is vehicles here getting stuck in. I might move that semaphore. To pull that semaphore back to here. I think we're fine. Unless it becomes a problem, I think we're fine. But that's cool. Alright, so aggregate storage there is working. Over here, the construction site is seeing some progress. Lots of workers working away. Lots of workers working away. Lots of resources arriving. This is going smoothly. That's great. Oh, man. All right. I'm feeling absolutely giddy. Absolutely. What's the deal here? I I, I think we need to... Um, bring some more workers here. I guess this phase has all the steel it'll get. I wear my construction offices. Or rather... Where is the construction site? Doesn't say vehicles, a sign, does it? So where are... my vehicles? So many clicks. Yeah, see, they're focusing on the road right now. The road is 70% completed. I'm almost tempted to build the road, the, uh, the, I say road, but I mean tunnel. It's almost done. almost done that's why i don't want to pay for it it's just nice to have 
some of these things be built by us. Uh, I'm gonna go double speed though. Uh, what else do I need to take care of? There was... I mean, there's a lot of planning to do, of course, but there was the uh, the TVs, there was a gravel... Oh, right. I want to take a look at the industry for building or for producing um, prefab panels. Because like I said, prefab panels is starting to become a bit of a waste of money. It's always been a bit of a waste of money, but that bit has become significant over time. Uh, so if I take a look at... Where? where? It wasn't under construction related, was it? It always like okay it's not on construction related it's obviously not residential it's not equipment for citizens it's not food and crop it's not is it various industry it's not various industry that's what i just checked shouldn't be under gravel wait maybe oh see like oh <laughs> the prefab panel factory should be in more places than just gravel okay it requires 65 tons of gravel and 9.8 tons of cement we are able to provide both of those things up over here. Gravel from here and cement from here. So let me check. Unfortunately, that's our factory connection over there. But, ooh, okay, this might be interesting. So how big is the prefab panel factory? Oh, it's not that big. Okay, that's good. Not that big. We'd be able to fit it like so. Mm, the road becomes a problem. We'd be able to fit it like so. That way we can connect the gravel as well as the road, like down over here or something. We'll, we'll, we can do that. That's no problem. Uh, the problem becomes the connection from the uh, cement plant. Now, if I have a factory connection, I can't believe this only has one. It's so silly to me. Uh, oh, okay. Okay, not, not a problem though. Forklift garage, we could maybe fit you in here. Uh, it's too tight, isn't it? This crossing, I could maybe fit you in here. Okay, I think we can do that. So let's go ahead and demolish that. Get this crossing down over here. Well, I might be able to do the garage as well. Yeah, I can't do the garage. The crossing, hopefully the crossing doesn't require a garage. Garage, as some say. Okay, build that connection there, build that connection there. Oh, I've had auto build selected. I'm so glad I didn't put down a giant construction project. Oh, ho, oh, oh, that would have been bad. Uh, okay, so this is done. I think you need a garage if you're going to use the, uh, the crossing, unfortunately. Not the end of the world. Not the end of the world. You can put this down over here. Kind of a thing. And then let's go ahead and plan where our prefab panel factory goes it's crazy how relatively painless this is compared to some of the earlier you know projects that we had mm, let's see something like that it's a little unfortunate um, that we can't have an easier connection to our storage down here that's to be expected I suppose it's really far away it's really far away we could get a road cargo spot up there and they can come down this way okay yeah there, there, there's some easy connections we can make okay good uh so let's go ahead and do what where else is gravel coming from are you bringing gravel up here what are you bringing up here no you're bringing coal okay so this is our one gravel connection up here Go ahead and build. I just want to check. Gravel is currently being used up extremely quickly. Alright. You know what might end up happening is that train might end up shipping more gravel down here than we can use. Sorry, I know I'm getting distracted here, but... Might have overdone it. I should have just done 60 tons. In mean, worst case scenario, we can have it start exporting afterwards, but... I don't know if that's the best use of its existence. Anyway, back on topic. We've got our prefab house factory, and it needs to go where? Like here. Make our... What about something like... Something like this. Let's try this, okay? Let's go ahead and do something... Wait, no, I need the factory connection as well. Ugh. Alright, how about this? 
we do that kind of a thing. And then the factory connection. Oh, it's going to be messy. Yeah, didn't think so. Didn't think so. Let's get you up over here. Just got to make... Try to make that as clean a connection as possible. Do that, maybe? Oh my god. I guess I could add another one of these. Seems a little wasteful, but... It looks so much nicer. Alright, so that's fine. Let's go ahead and build our... Hold on a second. Why did you not get... There we go. Got to commission that as well. Uh, and then we got to build our road. Now with the road... Um, oh, we can't do that. I had a feeling I wouldn't be able to. Oh, really? We can't even get in from down there? Too steep. There we go. Didn't think so. Oh, this is too steep. Okay. Uh, I think we can figure this out. Let's see. Up return too steep. There we go. There we go. Interesting road area, but does the trick. Loop you around like so. All right, before we do that, though, we have to get our factory, or rather our conveyor belt connection done over here. And this might prove a bit of a challenge. No, I think we've got it. I think we've got it. Oh, come on. Come on, game. Don't do this to me. Don't do this to me. Yeah, it won't let me pass underneath that. Which I'm not surprised by. Well, I am frustrated by it. What I need to do... It's an easy fix. I'll just wait until the sun comes up, though. Wait until the sun... Oh, there we go. Speak the devil. Um, yeah, see, this is too low. So what I need to do is... I need to build the mod version. Of the... I'm looking for. It is a conveyor. There we go. I need to go for the high one. High in, high out. One high input, six outputs. One high output, six inputs. Uh, one high output, six inputs is what I need. One high output. No, 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 no. No, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. One high input, six outputs. Are these all high out? Yeah. Yes, okay. I'm just gonna pause for a second. I can stay on top of this. I get rid of you, gotta get rid of you. Gotta wait for this to go before I can actually... There we go. So this... Okay, I should be able to put you over here. I should be able to do... A couple things. One... I guess we can keep this as a high connection. This should be able to come there, and this should be able to come there. That should allow me to... Oh, come on. There we go. There we go. Okay, I'm trying to scare me over here. Done. Well, actually, not perfectly. There we go. Send you over a little bit. This kind of a thing... We'll get this. We'll get this. Oh my. Maybe we won't. Okay. It was better at first. Ah. <laughs> I don't know why I um, tempt fate so much with this game's pathing system. Okay, that should do the trick. Beautiful. Done. Alright, awesome. So, um, what I could do is all of the factory connections I think I'm good to just build. Where's my road here? I could do get through there. I could do can't get through over here either. Might be able to get through here, yep. I'll probably just pay for the garage if I'm completely honest. But once we're done here, 
Make the road. I mean, again, I'm like, do I want to have a factory... Uh, sorry, a road cargo station. That's something I should consider as well. A road cargo station could fit nicely over here. Hmm. It'd mean the road would have to go a slightly funkier route. Or I'd have to build a crossing over here. Mm, and then I need a garage as well. You know, I might I might just not do the road cargo station just for prefab panels. I might just not do that. Watch me regret those words. Mark mark the time, mark the day. Watch me regret those words. But yeah, we're gonna build this. We're gonna build this as well. Well, this will pay for, but it can wait until after this is done. Um, this we need to pay for right now. And let's go ahead and commission at least these. Right, because this and this we need to pay for. And then the rest of it will build our ourselves. Now one thing I would like, oh, you know what's a problem is getting workers here is a problem. Uh, I guess from this bus stop down over here, people can be driven up. Because they'll go up this way, this way, over the bridge, up this way, up this way. It's a long way to go. Is there a faster way to deliver them? From this bus stop, they could go up. Hmm. Not really. This is, yeah, this is the fastest. Unless I build another road connection up like this, which might reduce the time a little bit. Sorry. Like doing something like this, you know, might reduce the travel time a little bit. But not nearly enough, I don't think. As for footpath connections, yeah, I mean, I guess, um, I, I guess we'll have to build either buses being delivered directly there or, 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 I mean, from here you can't reach for sure, right? That's way too far. I might need to build a bus stop somewhere over here. I don't really want to build a stop, if I'm honest. Don't need to deliver workers here in that kind of a way. So yeah, we'll have buses deliver people directly to the prefab factory. I think that makes sense. I think that makes sense. The only thing I don't like is this road section over here. I wish it was a bit neater, but... Nothing we can really do about that, I guess. Yeah, nothing we can really do about that. Fair enough. Fair enough. And let's get going. Let's also put down some more trees. It's mentioned that I should put down some more... Um, some trees to help cover some of the hideous, you know, factory connections and stuff. And I think that was in relation to the new part of, um, like, the new city, but I think it's also needed up over here. <laughs> I haven't done it in a while. All right, so prefab panel taken care of. Uh, we've got the, oh, look at the progress here. Already. Already about 25%. That looks like 25%, yeah. So that's great. That's going smoothly, I would say. And over here, are we seeing any progress? Nothing over here is the is the tunnel almost done. So close. Honestly, I might just pay for it. 100k is not that much money. 100k is not that much money. Let's go ahead and pay for it. It's not like it's a big deal tunnel. We've we've built the nation's first tunnel already, and we we've got these tunnels already. So it's it's there's no like big deal situation. Uh, it's just slowing us down significantly. Well, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm going to allow these 32 workers and these 18 workers to work here. And once they're done, I'm going to... Got another another set of four workers. That's that's not enough to convince me. These guys are going to work away, and they're going to drop the price to below 100k. It's the little things that'll go a long way, I guess, right? But once those workers empty out, I should uh, definitely, definitely get rid of that. Just get it done. Get it over with. Let's go ahead and put down some more farms as well. It was again pointed out that I'm... Again, they're free. All they, all they cost is space. I should put some down. Get some more crops coming through because it is a constant requirement of mine. There's no reason to slow down on, uh, on the number of farms we have. I might need to get another agro farm or whatever it's called. But that's not the end of the world. Do a big field over here. Nah, it's too big. Let's get a medium field down over here. 
Why won't you connect? Okay. Let's see why you won't connect. Go ahead and take a look at where is it food related. The workers are emptying out over here. Might be time to build it. Okay, let's go ahead and drop you down over here. Let's do that. Let's go ahead and, and, and auto-construct this. Seven workers left. 95k. It's nothing. That's pennies. Get it done. Get it done. Get this done. Um, get another one done as well. Where are we? Food and crop related. Medium field down over here. Okay, I need to need a little bit of sunlight. Just a little bit of sunlight is required here. And can I assign? Yes. Medium field nine. Is that what you are? Medium field nine. Okay. Yeah. If, as long as I can assign more, because there is a limit. You are not at your limit. Are you... You're auto-searching. That's so weird. I, I feel like this should be working on more farms. I mean, it should definitely be working on more farms. We'll add more over here as well. What, what am I doing? Alright, well, glad I spotted that. I'm glad the sun's back. Let's go ahead and build. Oh, build. You know what I mean. Lay farm? What, what do you what do you do to farms? You lay them? You... S I know you sow and harvest. Like, I know those words. I just mean, like... When you're putting one down. That's the right term for it. Put a large one over here. Just gotta flatten the train a little bit up there. There we go. Not a problem. And then that'll... Be another large field. Oh, it's so nice to see the trains just rolling on by as if there were never any issues. But we know the truth. We know the truth. Always issues. Come on, a little bit more. The train up there needs flattening. Yep. Needs a lot more. Okay. Go ahead and do this. I mean, the other way to do it, of course, is... This. I believe it's faster to do it this way. I think the mechanism it uses when you're using this tool is faster. Okay, there we go. And over here as well. It feels faster, that's for sure. That's for sure. I think we might be close enough, maybe. Let's try it. Almost. What's the issue? It goes a lot higher than I think it does. Alright. You lot. Gotta drop this down, then we'll be good. And then again, hopefully it'll even marginally just help my crop situation, right? It just even a marginal nudge in the right direction is, you know, in the right direction. Come on now. Need flat terrain. That is flat terrain. Dude. Work with me here. Have I gone too low? Seems I've gone too far the other way. Okay, let's go ahead and do this. You, you'd expect the game to at some point just take over with uh, auto flattening, but no. Alright, I might just go with some medium fields. <laughs> Patience is wearing thin. Come on. Come on. Come on, game. Here we go. Progress being made. Okay, excellent. How about now? Nope, medium feels it is. I only have so much patience. I only have so much patience. Go ahead and drop you down over here. Let's drop you down over here. This will be an empty spot until we... Until I, uh, until I regather the patience required. Let's see if I just want to plan this out first. There we go. Should be able to... Bring you straight down. That is not a blockage, they're still moving. There we go. Let's go ahead and build all this with our money. Because we've got knots. Got more than enough 
take on some of these construction projects with our money. We don't, like, you gotta, you make money to spend money. My dad used to always say, you make money to spend money. Don't just hoard it all. Be smart with how you use it, but if you're not spending it, what's the point of making it? Um, alright. Let's see. Ooh, this is done! Holy crap! Oh, wow. Okay. That, um, was unexpected. Now this should start seeing some progress as well. Now let's see, we do have a power... No, that's, that's a monument. Where is our power substation? There it is. I needed to move this, didn't I? Because I wanted to free up some construction space over here. I might slow it down from double speed, just for a little bit. Um... So I can keep up with the rate of our construction. I didn't expect this to get done so soon. Now again, it's not... It's done, but no one's living here, so it's not... It's not like we're in a major rush or anything. But I don't want it to just sit there empty and end up dilapidated at some point. How's this coming along? Pretty quickly. Pretty quickly. I mean, we could pay for this as well. 800k. We could pay for everything. We've got so much money now. We've got so much money now. But we've got a lot of workers here. The resources are being delivered pretty smoothly as well, so there's no rush there, I would say. What's the deal up over here? Yeah, progress being made. Not as quickly, but I don't mind. Our unemployment is, I would say, maybe at all-time lows <laughs> for the last, you know, 10 years or whatever. That's good. Construction sites help a lot. It gives people work to do. Uh, okay, so, let's slow it down. Let's take a look at what we need to do here. So we've got you, and we've got you. Now, the power supply from here covers everything. Everything? Everything. Unfortunately, having this here prevents me from putting down more houses. With that said, I don't know how many more houses I want. The reason why I say that is because, as many of you rightfully pointed out, I might actually need a bigger supermarket, and I might actually need some more schools. We've got the one shopping center for how many people? How many thousands of people? Right? Shopping center does what? Let's take a look here. Shopping center, that's a kindergarten. <laughs> a shop, a small shopping center serves about a hundred or so people. Surely we have a full shopping center somewhere. No? Really? Hold on a second. Shopping center, what do you look like? That's a small store shopping center. Oh, oh, oh. Wait, hang on a second. Small. Ah, I see. So yeah, I guess I never did build a small shopping center. Interesting. Okay, well, in that case, let me take a look here again. Sorry. Uh, so a small shopping center. 12 tons of stuff. As opposed to 35 tons of stuff. Doesn't say how many people it would it can it can serve. Maximum number of workers is 25. Okay. Well, let's take a look at this as an example. If 25 is the maximum number of workers here, uh, I need to do some like math over here. These are not easy numbers to work with. 17 and 101. Oh my God, isn't 17 is a prime number? <laughs> isn't 101 a prime number as well? What are the chances? What are the chances? Um, like how many how many workers per or how many shoppers per seller is the ratio? I'm trying to find figure out over here. I think we'll need a large shopping center, like a regular shopping center down here. I, I think just the small one is not going to cut it. But a large one, I mean, geez, this takes a lot of room. Um, and what I might need to do is, see over here, got the barn that'll store quite a bit. The meat storage is up there, though. Hmm. I wonder if... I love that the, sh the bigger shopping center only has the one um, input, like factory input. What's that about? What's that about? Need flat terrain. Okay. If I can put this over here, I'd have to get rid of this road, which I don't want to do. I might be delivering separately to the uh, shopping center. Might need to. 
We might put it on this main road. I could also obviously put it over here. All right, flatten the train a little bit. It's a little bit harder to get to is the only thing. I want it to be in a central location if possible. Hmm. Let's see. I'll drop you down, let's say, over here. Maybe fit another house down there. I could maybe fit... Let's see. Let's try it. I can't fit one of these. Way too big, right? Yeah, way too, way too chunky. Put one of these down, though. For sure. I even saw it turn yellow. There we go. Gotta make sure the road can connect as well. Come on, road. There we go. I'll do something like this over here. There we go. Come on, you. Come on, baby. Okay, can we get a little bit closer? A little, little comfier? A little cozier? How about down over here? Nah. Oh, yes. Yes, excellent. We could do something like this. Right. There we go. Not auto building. Good. If we do that, we can go ahead and connect you down over here directly. So these guys can get to the trains easily. Um, and then over here, can we fit the shopping center as well? Because that way we have the small shopping center and the big shopping center. And everyone can reach the sm small shopping center. Some of these people might not be able to reach the large one. So we have a bit of a redundancy. The other option is, of course, we could get a small shopping center um, somewhere here. Hmm. Oh, I can't really... can't really fit it in nicely anywhere. The structure everywhere on this side. Uh, we could maybe do it on this side, but then we're, you know, might as well... Might as well just have this one over here and then a big one over here. I think that might be the way to go. Need flat terrain? Okay. Uh, let's go ahead and provide it with that flat terrain. Alright. Now, I I I'm going to mention something really quickly. So, uh, I've seen many of you mention that I need to... Uh, it'd be great for me to just flatten terrain in a large section before I start um, building. Of course, the footprint here is too big. Um like just flatten an entire section out and then start my construction uh, i don't mind that but i just feel like it would be tremendously boring to watch to watch and yeah i could cut it out but i i, I mean at that point why don't i just go around and flatten the entire uh nation first you know barring the mountains i just i, I don't know it, it i've seen that comment a couple times from from many of you from from a variety of you and it always, I always wonder, like, I don't know if I feel, I don't know if that feels right. I don't know if it, it's the right thing to do. Um, in some cases, I'll obviously flatten a larger area than than not. But sometimes it's nice to just let it happen organically. And, and I don't mind the occasional struggle through those kinds of things. Uh, this seems like the ideal spot for this, by the way. Can I get a little bit higher? Because what I would like to do, well, actually, no, we shouldn't get higher because I want to make sure there's room for this to connect. Let's see, how do I want to do this? Run you along this way. Bring you down here. Connect you up there. Get this running down this way. Get you over to here. Oh, come on now. Okay, that doesn't want to connect. Fair enough. Go over to here. Connect you. Let's connect you and you. Okay, so from here, it's not a lot of houses being covered. Wow, even people from here can't get there? That's wild. That's not acceptable. That's not acceptable at all. Need to add access to more people. Or four more people, I guess I should say. What about down here? If I do that, there we, there we go. Now we're talking. Okay. We've got this corner of the market, basically. That's not so bad. This, I, I wish, um... I wish we had better connection here. Yeah, no, can't make one, I don't think. 
It's not the end of the world, though. This, uh, this is pretty good. And I wonder, actually, one last thing is I wonder if we can't get a school in here. The answer is no, resoundingly. Kindergarten, perhaps? No. Maybe we can get, like, a playground or something in here. But I definitely need to get more education stuff going on over here. This road we might be able to get rid of, in fact. Uh, it is used. But we could swap it out for a footpath instead. If we get rid of that, then maybe we could build... Nah, school's just not gonna fit here. Kindergarten, either. Their footprints are so large. Their footprints are just so big. Yeah, I, I gotta, I gotta figure this out. I mean, I'm pretty happy with it overall, but we definitely will need more schools and kindergartens in the area. Definitely more schools. We can put them in the outskirts, obviously, right? It'd be the uh, the educational ring, so to speak. But look at that. That's uh, you know, that's pretty wild. <laughs> That's pretty wild. We got we got a lot done today. Um, this entire section, I would say, has been planned, barring some educational facilities uh, over here. Oh, look at that. See, we once that tunnel com completed, work over here has sped up so much. So, feeling comfortable not having to pay for this. Um, though at this point, I really could. At this point, I really could. It's like the idea of building it ourselves, though. I love that off in the distance you can see that one lone apartment building that no one's living in yet. Really desolate. Really desolate. But, um... Yeah, jeez. I don't know, every once in a while this game just blows my mind. We're gonna have this up and running soon. We've got power in the area, a lot of construction projects that we just have to hit, you know, we have to unsuspend and we'll be good. Will be good. Gravel's coming down as well. I don't think we, uh, if I look at my imports real quick. This month. Let me see. Gravel. Is there any gravel? There's a little bit of gravel. 12k. Compared to last month's. 2k. Hang on now. <laughs> What's this? How did we... How do we pay for more? Oh, you know what? I think I know what's happening probably up over here when there's shortages some things are, are auto purchasing gravel not that we have shortages up here yeah that's weird I need to figure out where it's being bought and why it's being bought but we gotta see this this bridge in action for the first time we gotta see the uh, you know trains over here are working smoothly we've got the TV station in progress as well uh, but yeah, perhaps, I think most uh, importantly, we are seeing, um, you know, this this progress down over here is happening pretty pretty snappily. We're powering through, one might say. Oh, God. On that note, folks, I'm going to call it a session. Hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, you know what to do. Let me know by leaving a like and a comment down below. It makes such a big difference, as always, to the content that I produce on this channel. A massive thanks goes out. Oh, no. I've commissioned all of this. Oh no, it happened when I was doing the conveyor belts. Oh dear, I mean, I don't mind it. Because we were pretty set on what we had over here, but... But now now we're committed. Now we're committed. Oh lord. On that note, with just over 5 million in the bank, a massive thanks goes out to all of my channel members and patrons for supporting the channel on a monthly basis. You keep us alive and running smoothly. And of course, a big old thanks goes out to each and every one of you for watching. Until next time. Das Vidanya.